Today I'm going to show you how to make a bunny rabbit that's perfect for Easter. Hi balloon artists, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks and I'm a full-time balloon artist here in Derbyshire in the East Midlands. To begin with, take a lime 260 and make a flower. So I've made a six petal flower, if you want to make five petals that's fine. Then take a quick link and I've put about three and a half to four inches of air in here and just wrap that quick link into the base. Now I've shown you many times how to make the flower so I know you guys know how to do that already. If you don't check out one of my earlier vi videos, my penguin video or my reindeer video and you'll see how to make the flower. Take a white 260 and when you tie it leave quite a bit of an inflated section at the, uh, at the nozzle end and I've just got a one finger tip and I'm going to tie those together. Okay. And hold them together and we want to find the centre of this 260. Just pinch hold of it and twist the top part of the balloon and that will split it. Okay. And then bring these two bits together and take that end, wrap it round and also pull the loop through the other one and that will hold it in place. Take a five inch white round and inflate. And I actually over inflate this quite a bit and then I let a lot of air out. Okay, and I want to connect the ears to this five inch. Uh, using a marriage twist and because of that I want to test the balloon before I tie it off. So what I'm doing, I'm kind of squeezing the air and I'm, I'm pushing the nozzle through into the balloon really to see have I let enough air out. I'm going to let a bit more out and now I can feel that I can push that nozzle deep into that balloon quite easily and I'm now going to tie that off. Okay, and we tie high on the neck so the knot is very close to that nozzle. Take your rabbit's ears and get hold of that uh, long neck with the nozzle on the end. Keep hold of the nozzle and take your white five inch and with the white five inch you want to squeeze it so that the air goes up into the neck and then you want to place the nozzle from the ears onto the nozzle on the five inch and using your finger you want to push those nozzles deep into the balloon until you can grab hold of them then take your finger out and twist those around. Keep hold of them and take a little piece of 160, wrap that around and tie those two ends together. So it is a little bit tricky holding on to everything but try to resist the temptation to put the ends in your mouth and then tie a second time and that's how we connect the ears to our rabbit's head. And at this point I like to find the centre of the ears and just split those bubbles, split the balloon in half as we did before. So just fold them together, pinch them there and then twist that top one round. Okay, and that just splits the, the ears and makes them a bit more uh, elongated. Take your rabbit's head and the body and tie the two together. and trim off the ends and at this point you'll see that the head is really quite wobbly don't worry about that we're going to fix that take a 260 in white with about a four finger tail or so and take the nozzle and wrap that nozzle into your flower petal base 
give your balloon a stretch and we want to make a bubble that runs up the side of the body and just wraps into the neck there and then we want to come down on the other side again give your balloon a nice squeeze and wrap that into the base okay. this is what you've got everything's a bit wibbly on top but don't worry and then we want to make a couple of little feet so you just want to make a couple of loop twists that are about three fingers twist those and then wrap your 260 into the flower petal base and then make another one of these doing the same thing three, a three finger loop wrap that into the base so we've got two little feet and then bring the rest of that 260 around the back and make another loop loop of three to four fingers and this is going to be the rabbit's tail and you can break the rest off and wrap it into the base and tie it off okay so we've got the the feet and the tail at the back and our head is still very wobbly take a 160 in white and just wrap that into the flower petal base a few times okay and then bring that strap out to one side and we want to just pull the ears down to the sides and hold on to them and bring that strap pull it taut and pull it through the ears and pull that pull that down and then wrap it into the base and bring it out on this other side and then we do the same thing on this side so keep the ears under tension pull that strap through at the bottom of the ears pull it taut and then wrap the strap into the base a few times. So first just draw two ovals and then a black circle and then I like to edge the blue in black and then for the nose I just do a little pink triangle and then I just outline that triangle in black, draw a little mouth some whiskers and I just fill in that little bit of space there where the mouth is in red and then the final thing is just the little white dots on the eyes just to highlight the eyes and if you're looking for a bunny design that is on a bigger scale perhaps for a gift table centerpiece a gift table decoration that sort of thing or something for a birthday child or an easter bunny themed party or a peter rabbit themed party then i do have a premium rabbit tutorial available of quite a big rabbit sitting in a, a carrot patch he's wearing a blue jacket and he's a very popular storybook character. I'm sure you can guess who he's, he's intended to be. So check out that premium tutorial and uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can access that. I really hope you like this Easter Bunny design. I hope it's going to be useful to you. As you can see, you can do different things with it. You know, you can switch the colors around and get different effects. It's pretty easy to do that. And remember to subscribe to my channel. I publish new videos every Tuesday, the twisting tutorials or decor tips, so anything that is related to balloon art. 
So remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And please do give the video a big thumbs up. Feel free to join me over in Balloon Artworks Academy, that's my closed Facebook group, where you can ask me any questions about this designs or any of my other videos. And I'll see you again in the next video.